And now on the other side, we have Jackal, who is the ultimate anti-roamer. We present you for the first time an operator specialized in giving intel on moving opponents. In Velvet Shell, roamers beware. I'm gonna start off with you, Simon. Tell us a little bit about Jackal and his ability. So yeah, uh, Jackal comes equipped with a visor, uh, which he can turn on and off at will. It doesn't run on a battery or anything. And when he does activate it, he's going to be able to see the footsteps left by the defenders. Um, no, no, we saw a little bit of that yesterday, I and mean, people have been sort of seeing that. But what else? We were, we were hiding something, right? A little bit? Oh, yeah, we've been hiding a feature that's pretty cool about the gadget. So you're going to witness it in, a, in, a, in an instant. So as you see right now, Jackal is tracking his prey. He, see, he saw that the, like, the, the defender went up the stairs, and there he scans the footprints. And he can identify the target, and it pings him on his location. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's really crazy. And so how many times, in a, like how, how often does it ping the location of the opponent? So when you put the hunter's mark on your opponent, uh, he is pinged immediate, immediately, and then it, he's going to be pinged every 10 seconds for 30 seconds. Wow. So you can really track him down, even if he keeps on moving. Nice. So, so one ping every 10 seconds for 30 seconds. Exactly. So you'll be able to sort of track his movement. If perhaps he's rotating to another side, you'll be able to see wh where he's Exactly. Rotating. There's no hiding from Jackal. Now, there's also going to be kind of an interesting play that we might, might see... Uh, play out here in, in just a few moments during the uh, full reveal, but it may actually, we'll, we'll be able to see some counter strats to that, maybe some trickery, right? Yeah, exactly. Like when we, when we design operators, we all, always keep in mind the interactions with the other operators. Like how can the other operators interact with them? And so Kavera, our ultimate roamer, <laughs> Uh, when she uses silent steps, she actually doesn't leave any footsteps. Ooh. So she will wow. be able to have these like crazy mind games with Jackal. That's really interesting. And then there's going to be a few other operators that, that might uh, be able to disrupt his gameplay as well. Yeah, exactly. Our uh, good friend Mute, uh, if Jackal steps into a, a zone of effect of the, the jammers, his vision is going to get uh, blurred. He's not going to be able to see, so he, he will have to turn his visor off. Wow. That's, uh, that's really crazy and really interesting. Uh, I cannot wait to see that. Maybe we'll see some interesting Cavera plays, maybe some Mute plays. And yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. <laughs> Anything else uh, about his jammer that you wanted, or his gadget that you wanted to say? Well, yeah, uh, so he has a counter. Like, we, we didn't want to, um, to know, like, let Jackal just like, do the whole round with his, like, uh, with his visor on and have no, uh, no counterplay to that. But when uh, Jackal gets fired at, at him, he disrupts his visor in kind of the way Mute does. So, like, you have to be kind of careful, like, when you get close to your prey or, like, the <laughs> defender, like, the, the, the defender you're tracking, um, you might want to turn that visor off because it, it will affect you during the firefight. That's really interesting and kind of a cool little disruption that you guys put in there. A yeah. little wrinkle yeah, uh, exactly. that we're not, you usually see. We don't usually see that. Uh, so that will be really interesting to see. 